Welcome to our channel. In this video, we are going to talk about the top 10 best restaurants in Bangkok. So before starting, please like this video, and subscribe to our channel for future updates. The question isn't what to eat, where to eat, or even when to dine in Bangkok. You might be wondering how to make the most of all the opportunities available in the capital. Bangkok has a lot to offer, whether you're seeking style, ambience, and flavor that's unlike anything you've ever tasted before, or a chance to meet world-famous celebrity chefs. 10. Supaniga X Roots Supaniga X Roots offers it all if you're searching for the right blend of traditional cuisine, inventive cocktails, and the ultimate perfect riverbank chill-out atmosphere. If you've looked through the 10 best section for Thai restaurants, you've almost certainly come across owner Thanaruk Leora Waroj's other Supaniga locations, which have been on nearly every Bangkok food critics list for several years. Supaniga was founded by Leora Waroj to honor his late grandmother's home recipes, which include several foods from Trat, Thailand's eastern seaboard, that are difficult to get in most Bangkok restaurants. 9. Sawan. Sawan was awarded a Michelin star by the respected Michelin Bangkok guide for a reason. Yes, the restaurant's name means, heaven, in Thai, and yes, you will feel closer to the stars after a meal here, but you can also expect an intimate fine dining experience with authentic and inventive Thai cuisine produced by a phenomenally skilled chef that is simply some of the best in Bangkok. The 10-course tasting menu at Sawan is divided into dishes that represent all of the different themes and techniques used in Thai cooking. Here, you'll be able to try raw, fermented, dip, boiled, grilled, stir-fried, curry, and sweet foods, and the enjoyment begins even before you get to the menu. The complimentary appetizer is a Kai Luck Koei. Sous vide egg garnished with cream, tamarind sauce, and chili oil and served in a bird's nest. It's little and delicate, but it's jam-packed with flavors, and it sets the tone for the rest of the meal. 8. Metzaluna. Metzaluna is Bangkok's swankiest restaurant, and dining here 65 stories above the Chow Phraya River and the cityscape is one of the best things to do in the city, especially since the restaurant has been awarded two Michelin stars by the Bangkok Michelin Guide, and features the palate-boggling cooking of Chef Ruki Kawasaki, who has worked in Michelin kitchens in France, the United States, and his native Japan. Since taking over as chef de cuisine at Metzaluna in 2015, Kawasaki has merged his superior French cooking techniques with some of Asia's most rare delicacies. Take, for example, the Niigata Murakami Wagyu beef that Kawasaki imports solely from Japan to Thailand. The beef originates from a small breed of carefully selected, high-quality calves fed on rice straw, hay, and premium compound feed in Niigata Prefecture, giving it a velvety texture and melt-in-your-mouth flavor. 7. Somtum Dare while Bangkok has a plethora of stylish restaurants, Thailand's fiery northeastern cuisine, known as Isan cuisine, is badly underrepresented outside of hole in the walls and street carts. Somtum Dare is an authentic northeastern cuisine that has already gained a lot of attention, thanks to a combination of friends and family with strong roots in the Isan region. Somtum Dare serves popular Isan street foods such as lard tort, spicy minced pork salad, kor mu yang, grilled marinated pork, Somtum Pla Tu Khao Mun, shredded unripe papaya with grilled mackerel and coconut rice, and Tum Suo Sakonacorn, a somtum with Thai vermicelli and white pop, an ingredient which cannot be found in Bangkok. One of the initial branches of Somtum Dare, created by one of its founders, Thanaruk Leora Waroj in Manhattan, New York, has acquired a Michelin star. 6. The local, owner Kan Markowit and his sister Ploy come from a family of traditional foodies, and they've put their love of traditional and hard-to-find Thai dishes on display at the local, a lovely new eatery outfitted with antiques, wooden bird cages, old paddles from the floating market, and bookcases full of Thai cookbooks. The menu is extensive and diverse, with standouts such as Gaing Lun Wan, a Rama V royal court dish cooked with beef or pig laced with aromatic Thai herbs and shrimp paste, which is exceptionally aromatic and flavorful. The new Michelin Bangkok guide has designated the restaurant as a bib gourmand option. 5. Le Normandie. This elegant French restaurant on the Oriental Hotel's top level is a Bangkok institution. This two Michelin star restaurant is one of Bangkok's most elegant and exclusive fine dining establishments. Foie gras and roasted cistron rack of lamb are just two of the menu highlights made by the visiting French master chefs in residence, all served in an elegant setting with views of the Chow Phraya River. While the set lunch allows paupers to dine like royalty and revel in Bangkok's most refined restaurant, the supper is an utter bank crusher. 
A set menu of appetizers, entrees, and desserts costs 1500 baht and introduces you to world-class cuisine. 4. Nasara. Chef Thitted Tun, Tassanakajan, the man behind the renowned Ladu and Barn restaurants, is a staple on the Bangkok culinary scene. Nasara, his newest business, is named after his late grandmother and showcases traditional Thai family dishes presented in 12 course set tasting menus that take you through a variety of Thai cuisines. You'll get to tickle your tastes with meals like crab curry served on crispy beetle leaf with caviar or a classic pad krapao, Thai holy basil stir-fry, made with the most tender wagyu beef in an intimate dining room with only 10 seats, yes, reservations are required. Chef Tun's Mei Rai Pad Thai, a fashionable wine bar with good old pad thai to go with your cocktails, offers tasting menus for 1990 baht. If you're still hungry, head downstairs to Chef Tun's Mei Rai Pad Thai, a chic wine bar with excellent old pad thai to go with your beverages. 3. GAA. With the introduction of the second edition of the Michelin Bangkok Guidebook in 2019, Bangkok's innovative, stylish, and exquisite fine dining has reached new heights. GAA, which showcases distinct and varied twists on both Indian and Thai fare, served with exquisite presentations and creative techniques by head chef Gary Marora, the first Indian woman to obtain a Michelin. Honor is at the top of the list of newcomers granted one star. Aurora, who is from Mumbai, quit a career in journalism to enroll in Le Cordon Bleu, France's famed culinary school, and subsequently work at Noma in Copenhagen, as well as a period with chef Gordon Ramsay at Vera in Dubai. 2. Suring. Thomas and Matthias Suring are great cooks and identical twins. They've turned their lovely old Bangkok villa into a small garden restaurant, serving German and European cuisine inspired by childhood memories and family traditions. Suring's interior features a winter garden glass house that overlooks the garden, as well as an attractive living room, dining area and a kitchen where customers can sit at a chef's counter and witness the 9 or 12, Suring experience, set menu being cooked. Spatzel, a southern German egg noodle dish served with black truffle, and Himmel und Erd, heaven and earth, made with crispy potatoes, black pudding, and green apples, are two a la carte standouts. The tasting menus start at 3,500 baht and go higher from there. 1. Le Du. Chef Tun, Thitted Tassanakajan oversees this Thai-influenced relaxed fine dining establishment, putting his abilities developed at New York's 11 Madison Park to good use as he prepares modern interpretations of Thai classics. The restaurant's name is a play on the Thai word, Ru Du, which means, seasons, and the tasting menus here feature plenty of seasonal food and ingredients gathered from local farmers, fishermen, and other sources. The presentation is superb, and given that Chef Tun is also a trained sommelier, the wine pairings from across the world are world class. So that's it for today. What do you think of our video? Let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from me again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go and also press the bell icon so that you can get notification about our new videos. If it was helpful then share it with others. Thanks for watching the video.